Environmental Science, Class 2, Term 3. Unit 1 Material Around Us. In this lesson, we learn about the natural resources, the man made materials, and the other things. We'll also learn about the definition of matter and their properties. Look at the picture. What we can identify here? Oranges kept on a basket. Yes. We grow the oranges on tree. But what about the basket? The basket is made up of wood. We get the wood from trees. Let us see the sources of natural materials. The sources of natural materials are plants, animals, rocks and soil. We come across a lots of materials around us in a daily life and each and every object is made up of a different material. So in this lesson we will see about what is matter and its nature. We can get materials from different sources like plants, animals and the nature. Plants give us materials like logs, cotton and coconut etc. We also get different kinds of materials from animals like leather and wool. Apart from the plants and animals, we get a different kinds of materials from a nature like rocks and soil. We get metal ores from rock and soil. We cut the trees and get logs, papers and different kind of materials from it. For today's need, we are cutting and we take our need. But what about tomorrow? So let's all plant trees for the tomorrow's need. Fiber We wear different kinds of clothes daily. Do you know how clothes and ropes are made? Fiber is a particular material which is obtained from both plants and as well as animals. Cotton and jutes are kind of fibers which we get from plants. But wool and silk are fibers which we obtain from animals. Fiber is taken from a coconut tree which is called as coir. And we can make a lot of things using this coir. We know parachutes fly higher. Then just imagine how strong the parachute is made up of. Yes, we use silk thread which is a strong material which is used to make the parachute fly. Jute fiber is very long, shiny and strong material. And when compared to the all, silk is strongest natural fiber. We make a lots of things like bag, mats, saris from using these fibers like cotton, jute, silk and wool. Wool keeps us warm and we get sweaters, caps and socks which are knitted and we are using it regularly. Leather is also a flexible where we get like belt, watch straps, handbags, shoes etc. Clay. Clay is a natural material and it is also a type of soil. When we mix the clay with water, it becomes very soft. Later, once it gets dry, it becomes very hard. And we can see the potters make pots and other things from this clay. Metals. We have seen different kinds of vessels in our kitchen. Where do we get these metals from? Yes, we get these metals from metal ores. For examples like gold, silver, iron and copper. As the metals are very strong and hard, we can use it for different purposes like vehicles, gates and cooking vessels. 
what happens when we heat a metal yes the metal can be shaped in different form a small paper clip or a huge aeroplane by heating it we can change the shape as our needs few examples that are made up of metals are aeroplane paper clips gold bangles steel vessels aluminium vessels and copper vessels there are different kinds of metals finally we know what is matter matter is nothing but either it is a natural or a man made thing which occupies a particular space we'll call it as matter the matter has properties like taste smell size and shape let us see few example orange it is a natural thing and it also occupies a space when we place it on something see the wooden basket in the picture a wooden basket is made up of wood where wood is a natural thing which we get from tree but it is a man made basket after it is shaped into different sizes and it also occupies some spaces the last one is yellow laddu see the yellow laddus are very tasty round in shape smaller in size and they too have a sweet taste and they also occupies a space in a bowl so matter is something which occupies the space we'll call it as matter either it can be a natural or it can be a man made